What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, okay. Um, there you have it. The uh, wild card, wild card round of the playoffs is over. Um, congratulations to all the teams that have won. Um, I feel bad for the Bears. I'm gonna say it. that that man had one job and failed. Um, Luckily, I'm not a Bears fan, so I don't really care, but it still sucks. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, moving on, it's, it's divisional weekend um, playoff time. You know what I'm saying? It, it's now getting to the point of the season. We're at the point of the season where now everyone has, like, this one team in mind that they want to eliminate. You know? Like, I feel like that one team that everyone seems to to like not care about eliminating is the Patriots. Um, and, and it's fine, you know what I'm saying? It's perfectly fine to sit here and, you know what I'm saying, hate on the Patriots for being successful as a team. You know what I'm saying? So now we're at the point of the season now where everyone is anti, you know what I'm saying, every anti-Patriot fan um, just, just doesn't want to see the Patriots go to the Super Bowl. And doesn't want to want them to go to the AFC Championship game, and it's fine. You know what I'm saying? The, the Chargers, I'm gonna say, it, are a good matchup for this team. Um, me being a fan of the Patriots, I have, like I said, nothing but the the most highest level of confidence heading into this game. Um, just based off our, our history, based off of our history of, you know, what I'm saying, divisional round games, and the fact that uh, Phillip Rivers is actually 0-7 against Tom Brady overall in his career. So that might that might come into play um, sometime during the game. Um, now, I I'm not saying Phillip Rivers is a bad quarterback. Obviously, he's not if he's gotten this far. You know what I'm saying? He's obviously, you know what I'm saying, took his team to the playoffs. That's, that's a accomplishment in itself, you know what I'm saying, to be in the playoffs is an accomplishment for any team, you know what I'm saying, um, especially if you're a team that really has been struggling these last couple of years, you know what I'm saying, like the Chargers or teams like the the Colts or teams like the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying, or teams like the Chiefs who also play this weekend. Now, um, what this video is about is me just breaking down um, games and giving y'all once again my predictions um, for the divisional round um, part of these playoffs. All right, um, look, so we are going to talk, talk first about the Patriots and Chargers. Um, like I said, I have the Patriots winning. Obviously, that's my team. So that's why I'm riding with to the end of the end of the um, year. Um, we shall see what's going to happen, um, depending on what part of our defense shows up. Like I said, I have nothing but confidence in this team to to just deliver, you know what I'm saying, when needed. And when they need to show up, I have nothing but confidence in them to show up. Um, we just got to come prepared, and hopefully this week um, things go our way. <sighs> like I said, too, having, having Tom Brady and, and the experience that he's had in these type of games, you, you put all your faith in him and, and coach Bill Belichick, you know what I'm saying? And whatever happens, happens. I, I just hope that we, we walk out with a W, 
you know what I'm saying? And if we don't, well, then it's been an amazing season, you know what I'm saying? And all credit will go to the Chargers for playing better than us. But that's neither here nor there yet because it isn't Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Um, just want to put that out there, you know what I'm saying? I am, a, I am a respectable person when it comes to either winning or losing, you know what I'm saying? I like to look at look, look at the positive side of things. Uh, moving on, next divisional round game we got is the Chiefs versus the Colts. Now, Here is the here is the game that I feel like I, I don't really care, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I sit I'm gonna watch the game obviously on Saturday, you know what I'm saying? Um But I I personally just don't care who wins. You know what I'm saying? Like I can sit here I can sit here and say, Oh, I want the Chiefs to win or oh, I want the Colts to win. I don't care who wins. Um if I had to go on a limb and pick a team to win, I would say the Colts. Just because the, the Chiefs in the playoffs are like the Browns in, in the regular season. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not talking about the Browns of this year because obviously they actually won a couple games. Um, but I just I don't think – um, as good as Patrick Mahomes has been this year, I don't think he's ready for the playoffs. Um, he looked kind of looked kind of shaky at the end of the season, um, especially in a couple games. So I really just don't see the Chiefs beating the Colts. Although, like I said, I don't really care. Um, if they win, they win, and that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Then hopefully the, the Patriots can take care of business on Sunday, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but I don't know something about Andrew Luck. I I just wanna I wanna see where this goes. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the Colts might have a, a little bit more weapons um, defensively and offensively. And um, based off the fact that Andrew Luck does have a little bit more uh, playoff experience, that's that's where my mind is there. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I don't care who wins. Whoever wins, good shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, n none of those teams, I, I think, um, would be an issue for the Patriots to play. Considering the fact that we that we have beat them both um, this year. You know what I'm saying? At the start of the season. Um, so in that case, I, I just really don't see um, a problem with facing either one. Um, obviously, the history we have with playing the Colts in the playoffs from from bullshit like the Flake Gate and, and several other playoff games that we played against them is is in our favor. Um, but I don't know. We we'll, we'll see what happens in that game and uh, may the best team win. Um, moving on to the NFC. This is this is the the part of the playoffs like the NFC side of things is where I feel like it's just a toss up. Obviously, the goddamn Eagles think like, oh, you know, what I'm saying Nick Foles, a fucking a fucking god. Like, no, you know, what I'm saying, it, is it really Nick Foles or is it just like everyone on that team contributing in ways to to where oh we got to step up now and we got to, you know, what I'm saying actually start winning games. Like, where the fuck was all this energy towards the first half of the season? You know what I'm saying? When Carson Wentz was your quarterback. N nigga, like, what? <laughs> this, this is where I, when I don't, this is what I don't get, right? I'm watching the Bears, I'm watching the Bears and Eagles game yesterday, and I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's fourth and goal, right? You're at the, what, one yard line? All you gotta do is make one stop. There's no necessary reason to kick a field goal here if you just get one stop defensively. You know what I'm saying? Considering you have the number one defense in the league, you shouldn't allow a touchdown on fourth and goal. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna we're gonna sit here and blame Cody Parkey 
um, a dude, a dude that actually is responsible for for scoring half your points um, offensively. You know what I'm saying? Without him, you you guys are getting blown out. You know what I'm saying? Technically, technically you should be thanking him. You know what I'm saying? Also, the ball, the ball, the, um, the field goal that he had missed, the most goddamn at the most crucial point of the game, um, was tipped. So I kind of, I kind of feel bad for him. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, just a second. Um, kind of feel bad for him. I'm not gonna lie. But things happen. I guess it wasn't meant to be for the Bears. Like I said, I'm not a Bears fan, so I don't care if they lost. Um, I think that was only my, f that's actually my first damn game that I co got called wrong. Um, I got every other single wild card game right for my predictions. Um, but the Eagles play the, the Saints this weekend, and um, I don't know. I don't see them winning. I don't see how in the world playing against Drew Brees in the playoffs, a, a man that's been going off all season. I, I just don't see it happening. I don't care about this little fairy tale story that they're trying to tell once again. Um, it's, it's not going to happen. Philadelphia is going to lose. Um, I don't care who their quarterback is, what receiver shows up. Um, I don't care if they, they make seven field goals. Niggas is going to lose on, sun, on um, s Sunday or Saturday. Sunday. Um, and that's going to be that. Season is going to be over. The Saints are going to move on. And that's that. Do you know what I'm saying? You guys can go ahead, write your little storybook ending, and talk about how Nick Foles tried to save your season and then failed. Um, moving on, we got, we got the Rams and Cowboys. Now, uh, here, here is a game that I, I don't know. I don't know, cause, cause both teams are iffy to me. Um, I'm not a Cowboys fan. I like the Rams, but I'm not really a Rams fan. Um, to me, especially watching them play in the playoffs last year, I, I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I know they got a great defense. They got a, they got a great offense. Um, but I don't know because this is the same story that they had last year. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then obviously the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying, are, are down a receiver now. Um, so that might come into play and, and be a factor in this game um, when it comes down to, you know what I'm saying, some big moments in that game. If I had to choose a team to win, I would I would say it, it probably well, the game is in LA so I'm going to have to go with the Rams um, just for the simple fact that I feel I feel like the the um, receiver core it being so so limited out there on the Cowboys side of things is it might just you know what I'm saying haunt them and it's going to hurt. But hey, you know what I'm saying? If they somehow manage to, to shock the Rams and beat them, then who knows? You know what I'm saying? They got a chance. You know what I'm saying? But it, I, I ultimately, are, I, I'm, ultimately, I'm choosing the Rams. So it's going to be the Rams and Saints. It's going to be the Rams and Saints. And the um, Patriots and Colts in the in the championship games, and then we'll see what happens next week. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'm in a good mood on Sunday, so I can film that video for y'all. Um, and if I'm not, then well, I'll just wait for Sunday and get my video out because. Regardless, the video will be posted on Sunday, win or lose. Um, yeah, that's going to be that. Um,
you might be asking why I'm brushing the wave cap or the do rag. That's because I keep I keep the waves on me, you know what I'm saying? I got I gotta make sure my waves is the crispiest motherfucking waves in the world, you know what I'm saying? Crispier than the goddamn Pacific Ocean. Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers can go surfing on my fucking waves, goddamn. Niggas ain't even gotta go to the beach, you know what I'm saying? Um they can just surf on my on my waves, on my head. But um That is it for this video, man. Make sure you smash the motherfucking like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Um, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. And um, turn on your post notifications. Make sure that you have your post notifications turned on so you get notified for when this video goes up. Um, and then leave your um, leave some leave some video suggestions down below in the comment section. Um, also leave some um, leave your playoff predictions down below um, for this weekend let me know what teams y'all got winning in the um, divisional realm that is pretty much going to do it for this video I will see y'all tomorrow love y'all peace